Hey guys, welcome to my new Mage Gullets build, magical build. Uh, this is inspired heavily by Winterhold from Skyrim. Uh, and I wanted to give it a little bit of a twist, so it's it's different, but you, you probably see the similarities. The only way to get to the build is with a portal, because it's really, really, really far away. So as you can see, this is the entrance. This is uh, inspired by dragons and like the blue fire gives this like magical vibe um, you can look down here and you can see how unbelievably high we are down there in the, in the distance you can see uh, the deep north and if you look up you can see that this is a pretty high build I tried to go as deep as possible into the mountain but it was really hard because uh, you can't really dig that deep and if you destroy the rocks sometimes you just destroy everything so had to be really careful cutting out everything cutting out the rocks cutting out the dirt but you'll see how much i eventually was able to cut out so let's uh, go in the front entrance opening this door and then this is the main hall as you can see it's really 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 high it's got these really tall windows on the top there to let a lot of light in here on the bottom, there's these uh, fireplaces where you can heat up. They're really small, but they lead all the way out, so there's no smoke in here. There's one more over here. And here are some necks. So what I was thinking was, this is like a magical college. Uh, so the people that live here probably need the animals to try their spells on. So therefore, I had some necks here in a, in a cage. This is a sort of a living area, living space. This is where everybody can just chill and sit and eat. And this is the stairs that go up. We'll go here later. Let's go to the other side first. So all the way to the other side of the main hall, there is a little fountain here. You probably already know what it is. It's, a, it's one of the hot tubs. Then back here is a little storage area where they can keep some stuff. And then here to the left is the main dining hall, where the mages can sit and eat and drink. <laughs> Up there is a dead mosquito. Um, probably really fucking annoying if you're sitting here and eating, but... The idea was just like everywhere around this castle, there's like animals and creatures trapped that they can try their spells on. Let's go up these stairs first. So these stairs lead to different sleeping quarters. For example, you have this little sleeping quarter here inside the mountain. It's really, really, really small. But this is probably where like a teacher lives, somebody with more authority. And then you can go up here. And then you're sort of outside and you have two rooms. So this is one room, this is where two of the students can live. And then here you have another room where two other students can live. And then up here is a little roof area where there's two uh, two goblins. And there's actually a pretty cool view from up here. You can see how unbelievably high it is. It's really, really high. You can barely see the bottom there. And the top's all the way over there. It's, the top is actually above the clouds. Now, let's go back down. go down here and uh, what I really really like is it's super high there's like like all the way above there there's like lights and you can still see rocks you really get this feeling that you're inside like a big cave system like it, it does feel like it's built inside the mountain so let's go upstairs making these stairs was really really hard I really had to watch out that I didn't destroy every piece of rock but it worked out when you first enter you will in this small I don't know reception area hall area you can go out this door you'll be on the on the ramparts on the balcony you can look down and goes all the way around to here and then there you can see where we just were. Now, let's go inside. And I'm going to show you guys my... Actually, my favorite two rooms in this build. 
So up here is one of the classrooms. So the teacher can sit over there and the students can sit over here. And you can see I have a, I don't know what they're called. I think it's a werewolf stuck in a cage. And they're like studying it. It's like an arm here. I really like this, this room with the big windows here. You can really see like students sit here and just uh, practice their spells and stuff. Then you can leave this door and then you'll be you get to the other classroom so this is the other classroom now this is also like a place where you can practice spells and teach stuff it has this blue glow and it that's because below the stones here I made uh, blue torches so I make like five of them and they give this really cool glow you can see it on the outside, like the windows start glowing. Maybe you can see it during the day. Yeah, you can see it a little bit, like the windows, they glow blue, especially at night. It's, re it's re a really cool effect. And then here to the right is a balcony. You can just stand. And then here in the back, there is a heat source where else you would freeze. Okay, and then there is a small, special little thing I made. I wasn't really too happy with it, but I'm going to show you guys what I made. Because the headmaster, of course, has to sleep somewhere. Um, and he's not going to sleep with the other students or teachers. So I made a special uh, residence for the headmaster. And it's all the way on the top of the mountain, like all the way over there. So you can take this portal. This would be the residence of the headmaster. So down here, I did the same thing with the blue glow to give it this magical vibe. And then here's the like a little statue. And then the inside of this building is not done at all. But there's like these huge windows. And it has this really weird shape, like a round shape here, and then a square here. As you can see, like these are two roofs stacked on top of each other, and then those are single roofs. So I'm gonna fly up there and have a look, show you guys. Like these are just normal windows, but these are actually double windows, double roofs. It's really hard to see, but there's there's a roof underneath this roof. I thought it was kind of cool effect, kind of weird, kind of cool. And then there's like this big glass windows so I hope you guys liked it um, it was a lot of work and I'm actually gonna do a couple of smaller builds now because this is just taking way too much time and I'm actually having trouble thinking of new things to build so I'm just gonna do a little bit smaller builds maybe a couple big builds and then hopefully when new content comes out I can make something new big and exciting uh, maybe I think of something before that I don't know we'll see what happens Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please sub to the channel. Please leave a comment. Ask me questions. If you guys want me to do something, have ideas, just you know, tell me. And I'll think about it. Anyways, see you guys in the next video.